right in this video what to do if you can feel when your engine is running and it's been running for a while that the engine bay is hot you can just put your hand out and you can feel the heat gushing out and it's way more than you would normally feel in an engine in an engine when you open the hood when you open the bonnet you should just normally feel slight warmth slight warmth when you go really close to it and of course when you touch it kind of a bit hotter but if you open your engine bay and you feel intense heat what does it mean so i'm not talking about when your engine is running and inside you've got your temperature gauge inside your dashboard and it's showing it's over the halfway mark hot i don't mean that kind of hot if that's the case now obviously what's happening is the water the coolant is not getting rid of, rid of the heat fast enough that's being produced by the engine's pistons going up and down with the combustion what i'm talking about is the the temperature gauge is kind of normal and below it's slightly halfway but when you open your engine bay you can just as soon as you open it you, your face is radiated with the heat coming from all parts of the engine okay what that means in that case that i found out in this car when i bought it three years ago i had exactly the same problem i knew honda civics are very reliable but i knew it's re already did 249,000 miles when i bought first bought it so that to me is not normal when an engine is running hot when i mean hot the outer parts of it is running hot is not normal okay and i was getting somewhere around about 40 miles per gallon 40 miles a gallon in in uk for a diesel car is quite low a modern diesel car now this car here was also i also lent this car to my brother because he's, he's insured on his car as well and he takes long drives with it and he says, I'm not using your car anymore. Namely because it, the fuel efficiency wasn't, wasn't up to scratch. He didn't really like the fuel efficiency of this car. Okay, so I sought out to eliminate that one fault at a time. And in this video, I'm going to go through the things that it were that I corrected, that I either fixed or corrected or cleaned to get the efficiency up now that sounds a bit odd talking about hot engine and efficiency but if you think about it the, the heat that's being produced is the result of extra friction somewhere okay the extra friction is being produced and it's being radiated so the energy that's not being transferred into rotating your uh, drive shaft and then the wheels and the and then ultimately propelling you along is being wasted as heat sometimes it can be something like sound Okay, so the heat, the energy from the fuel can be wasted as sound if you've got a very loud engine. Somehow that's that's a waste. It could be vibrations if your car kept going, you know, vibrating all the time like this non-stop. You'll be wasting a lot of fuel just getting vibrating the thing. So in my case, it was heat. So what was it? So there was a few things I went to correct, and I'll go through some of them. Now, just to show you, on this trip this trip of 355 miles i'm on 65.3 miles per gallon so i'm on the a uh, category or the a memory setting so if i switch it to so that's pretty good that's way more than 40 so i've improved it a massive 25 thereabouts miles per gallon fantastic because it was i definitely remember you can look back some of my old videos and find it i'll put it up it was definitely around about 43, I think. It was stuck on 43.9 for a long, long, long time until I fixed each one of the areas one by one. I fixed it and I should document each one of those fixes right now. And if you get in the same kind of low miles per gallon to what you expect, and of course the indicator is a very hot engine, just go through the steps that I went through to fix my problem. So I just want to check out, show you also, I'm going to show you B. Here's B. Look. I'm, I didn't just go have a long motorway ride. I take this car um, on my daily travels going to and from 4,797 miles was when I first recorded it on this B channel and look 61.3 miles per gallon so not a joke and you can see in the total below I put on about 24,000 miles it's now 263,396 I have not been driving I have been driving a lot all right so 
let's go through some of them things that could cause lower fuel can uh, lower fuel can uh, lower fuel miles per gallon fuel efficiency due to excess heat let's go for some of them so engine bay only nothing to do with, say for example this the back of the boot of the car is stacked up with loads of stuff nothing to do with, nothing too obvious engine bay only this pulley was worn that pulley there so I changed that see the little clip right now of me changing the pulley so having the pulley worn meant it was producing a lot of heat obviously I wouldn't touch it now but with the engine off that pulley was baking hot this alternator here was sizzling hot sizzling hot so what it was is if both of the both of the um, bearings were worn they were rattling and worn and producing loads of heat I'll link the video right now I did some work to the AC clutch but I don't think that ultimately had a big effect the AC clutch So now the AC, because the AC uh, compressor needs changing, really uh, it's off all the time. So you can take that out of the equation. I don't have AC anymore. Down there is the thermostat. The thermostat was not good. It was opening up too late. So I was getting too hot uh, circulating liquid before it opened up. I'll link the video right now. The gearbox transmission, manual gearbox transmission, was had quite old oil. I put in some slick 50, I put in some Molly B denim grease oil for gearbox, and I changed the oil of course. I'll link the video right now. Change the air filter. Change the air filter. I don't think I did a video, but if I did, it's right there, right now. I did. I did clean out the MAF sensor, the M A F S, mass airflow sensor. I did clean that out. So. Uh, of course, the obvious thing, I changed the oil and put something like an additive, like Slick 50 in there. I changed the oil. I had a very low, very low hanging base tray. It was hanging low, it was only off the ground about that, that much. That will cause aerodynamic drag, in my opinion, or it will change the aerodynamics of the cars. The car wasn't built to have such a low hanging bottom tray. And it's not built to have no tray as well. So, I set it just about so it was back to normal. That had an aerodynamic effect as well. So, so those were the things that I did in this car to increase the fuel efficiency from about 43 miles per gallon for ages when I first got it it would not change and boost it all up to about 60 let's call it 60 so 20 miles per gallon on a long run 25 miles per gallon and I'm doing city runs I'm doing driving to work uh, during traffic as well so you can do the same to yours if you feel or not hot engine well, I've been running it in idle five minutes that's cool to the touch. The uh, alternator is cool to the touch. It's generally cool all over. Of course, make sure you, you're reducing friction. Make sure there's no heat, excess heat on the wheels. The brakes are binding, anything like that. That's essential.